embrace and radiate the warmth and the light and the life and the goodness of Jesus in you to others. Dear friends, in today's liturgy, we get inspiration from the Gospel of John, chapter 12, verses 44 to 50. Dear friends, we are confronted with a pair of opposites. The light in darkness. The good news and the bad news around us. We are embraced by keeping of the good news and rejecting the good news. What do I choose, good or bad? Believing and not believing. Truth which sets us free and insincerity or lies that block us and take away our peace and our conscience. It haunts us forever. These are the opposites that we are faced. And in today's society, these are also a reality. Every day we are embraced with such kind of choices to choose between good and bad, believing and not believing. These themes are struggles in our lives. Why struggles? It's all because... Uh, because instead of choosing light, warmth, love, and harmony, we choose the shadow of darkness, of hatred, of disunity, of scatteredness, of getting lost in life. Yes, instead of the warmth of love, we choose the hatred of darkness. Instead of harmony, we choose war and tension among us that divides us and scatters us instead of uniting us. Instead of choosing the truth which sets us free and happy, we choose lies that disorganize us and that take away our peace and our harmony and our union with ourselves, with others and with God. Yes, the lies that leave our conscience haunting us and following us instead of choosing the truth that sets us free and makes us happy. Instead of believing, trusting, and entrusting everything in God's hands, the author of life who knows everything about ourselves, we only think of our own human feeble, weak strength. Instead of believing in the Lord, the author of life, who is the good news, we embrace only bad news. Yes, sometimes we neglect and reject the good news. We neglect and reject God. We neglect and reject others. We neglect and reject ourselves at the end of it all. And that's why we end up being empty. In today's gospel, Jesus insists that he has come as light of love. The light that illumines, that shows us that's the way, is the light, the way, the truth. So he has come as the light in the world so that whoever believes and embraces him and trusts him and that entrusts everything into his hands does not remain in confusion of darkness, does not remain disordered, but it remains happy, embracing the Lord who also is present in others. We could ask ourselves, do we embrace the Lord who is light or we choose darkness that scatters us? The challenge today is to avoid, to kick off darkness, anything that is of confusion that scatters us because darkness leaves us scattered, confused, disoriented. We don't know where we are going. So we are to kick off that. And that's the challenge that the Lord is inviting us to kick off anything that is bad, that is dark, that scatters us, that is confusing us and to embrace him as the light of the world. The challenge today is to embrace the belief in the Lord and to be make sure that uh, we keep believing in the Lord God who is the author of everything then we believe also in others especially the good thing, goodness of others and we believe in the goodness of ourselves but above all we believe in the good 
news and a lot of good news is around us and when we allow ourselves to be permeated with the goodness of the people around us and the good things around us then all our thoughts our minds our hearts will only be light good news it will be life for others otherwise if we embrace negativity and badness that is what will permeate our way of thinking and acting and meaning that our mission unfortunately will be that mission of darkness instead of being a mission of light so if we want to be the light to others let us embrace christ with the light listening to his word learning from him meditating and allowing him to flash into our lives and to transform and to heal everything in us and to transform us so that whatever we say is good news to others whatever we do is good news to others we are challenged to embrace and love the light jesus christ who helps us to see things as beautiful as good and as true and who helps us to love as he loves to speak as he speaks to do things as he does things today with these people around me the lord is working through you and me to be that visible light for others to be that warmth of love for others that we we meet on our journey of life Yes, dear friends, let us draw ourselves towards the light. Let our heart, our mind, our lives draw towards the light, the good news, the word of God, and allow that light to enter us deeply, to crush everything that is negative, and to warm our hearts out of love, and to lead us out of to speak good news and to be good news to others. Allow the light to flash through us, and to heal us, and to save us, so that we can be good and effective instruments of good news out there there sharing the warmth of love and using that heat to burn off everything that is evil to burn everything that is bad that he that he hurts us that hurts others as well we have that fire in us to help us warm our hearts and set them on fire of love for everyone without distinction let us remember that every time we embark on sin and what is sin sin is anything that distances us from god from ourselves and from others so every time we embark ourselves on what is sinful then we are embarking ourselves on the road and the life which is full of confusion which is full of pain of crisis of negativity a life that is empty that leaves us empty because of the bad thoughts bad actions that are flashing in our lives instead of allowing the light to flash into our lives and to orient our lives in the good way no one can shut down that light of Jesus Christ which is working in you and me. And when we embrace that light and allow it to be part of us, then no matter what happens, even if we walk in the darkness, that light will shine and nobody will crush us down. We remain powerful because of the Lord working in us, because of the good news flashing in us that is peaceful. And it's only when we are at peace that we can even go through the darkness. It's only when we have the light that we can warm others and we can light lighten others journey and this is our mission to warm the journey of others to warm it with love as we go on with our journey to lighten the way of others especially those who are in darkness to be that little or that much light for everyone on our journey are you that light of hope for others are you that warmth of love for others are you that peace for others in this journey of life my brother my sister let us allow the light of Christ to flash into us, to warm us, and to be part of us, to possess us completely, so that we are possessed in a positive way with the light and goodness and the good news and the peace and love of Christ. And no one will take this light away from us because this is what gives us strength to face our joys but also our challenges, which we will always find in life. Allow the light of Christ to flash into us, my brother, my sister. I open your heart so that the Lord can flash into it and transform it into everything that is good and beautiful and true. Dear friends, when we are filled with the light of Christ, with the goodness of Christ in us, with the good news in us, with that peace in us, everything else, even negative, will come and knock itself off because they find a stability in us, because we have the power inside us that uh, helps us to embrace what is out. And this is what Paul and Barnabas in today's first reading of the Acts of the Apostles who also embraced. They embraced the every 
action with prayer, fasting, and laying of hands. They allow the Holy Spirit to take possession of them and to guide them in every way that we are going. To guide them in their actions, in their decisions, in their dreams. And this is what we do in all our dreams, in all our actions. We are invited to allow the Holy Spirit in us, which we receive that baptism, that spirit which teaches us everything, that guides us, that consoles us, that illumines us, that warms our hearts to move us, to lighten in us, to show us the way so that we continue being the visible presence of God to others, the visible good news to others. People need you as a good news. They need me as a good news, especially where there is bad news. They need you as a consolation. This is our mission to be good news to all. And this is what moved with Paul and Barnabas. So the weapon to face the negative, the dark moments of our lives is prayer and fasting and allowing the Holy Spirit to move within us with humility and docility and to transform us. When we hear that voice inside us that invites us to do good and to be good and to avoid evil that hurts us and hurts others, that is what we have to follow. That good spirit in us, always teaching us and whispering to us and prompting us and inviting us to be good, happy, free and one with each other. Dear friends, if we want to be successful in life, let us accompany our dreams, all our desire, good desires, our words, actions, with prayer, with meditation, allowing the spirit and listen to his voice. And let's always find time to listen to what the Lord is inviting us to do in every situation. Accompany every moment with prayer. Dear friends, God came into our lives and into the world not to judge, not to condemn, not to blame sinners, not to put down the sinners, but to uplift us up, but to save us, to heal us, and to flash his light in our hearts. He's not selfish, God. He flashes his, his life in us who are created in his image and likeness of God so that we can also respect the image and likeness of God of others by sharing the good news and being good news to all to avoid the condemnation and enjoy salvation we are invited to trust and entrust in jesus christ the light and who saves us and heals us we are invited to stay and remain and embrace the light and radiate this light to others. To stay away from everything that is dark, that is of confusion, that is noisy, that is painful. To stay away from everything that is negative and embrace the light and the good news with our, so that our words, our actions, our way of thinking and doing is only good because of the good light flashing in our hearts and in our lives. Remember that the light, which is fire, can also burn evil. And each one of us has that fire in us that will kick off the evil one and instead share the fire of love with all, the warmth of love, of compassion, of kindness, of respect, of tenderness to all. And so we have that power. Let's kick off with the fire. Let's burn every evil that is approaching us, every evil word, every evil action, every evil everything. We kick off, we burn it off in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Jesus' name, never with our strength alone, but in Jesus' name. Dear friends, Jesus is here today to as the light to make us whole again, to show us the way, to heal us, to show us the beauty of living with God and with each other, to help us enjoy this life which he himself called us to live here on earth and to lead us back to the Father. Allow yourself, allow myself to be guided by that light of Christ towards everything that is good, that is true, that is worthy, and that's beautiful, so that we, in everything, we give thanks to the Lord, who is the author of life, and at the same time, we share the blessings of goodness to all the people we meet on our journey of life. Blessings and greetings from Jerusalem, dear friends.